patriotic red truck. Now this is a kind of a two part process only because I needed to create the truck. I shared now, um, that I uh, have a pattern that I, uh, for this truck that is available uh, for a, uh, you know, you can download it to your computer and you can print it out and then you can cut it out and you can trace it on cardboard or wood or something else so that you can use it for projects like this. And so what I did is I traced mine out on just some cardboard. I'm using a craft knife or like a, an X-Acto knife and just cutting around, um, you know, the lines and cutting out my truck. It's a, a little, I don't want to say time consuming, but I took my time only because this is the first time that I did this. And so I just used the combination of the craft knife and my scissors to cut this out of cardboard. All of this paper came from Hobby Lobby in the scrapbooking section. I just cut, uh, you know, my red truck out of uh, cardstock and I'm painting the edges around just in case, you know, like my, uh, you know, if any of the edges showed it, it was brown and I didn't like that. And um, what I found is that the top of the um, paint bottles are the perfect size wheels so i just cut those out of black cardstock and then i just drew out my fenders just kind of guesstimated it and um for the uh, white walls of the tires i just used um, a, a punch and then for the hubcaps i'm just using some wooden buttons then i'm just using my distress ink uh, just to go around just to add you know a bit of distressing and uh, just to give my truck some character then now i'm just using my fabric tack glue and i'm going to glue everything down so that it's all nice and cute used my new favorite pen. This is the Posca PCMR1. I will have a link in the description below because it is my new favorite and I just added some dashes around the truck just to, you know, define it a bit more. Then I used my metallic silver paint to give it some lights and the handle and uh, our truck is ready to go. So then now I'm going to share how I created uh, the picket fence with the red truck decor and I will share a messy bow with you as well. This pick and fence is something that I had in my crafting stash. I've had them for about 15 years. I just rediscovered a bunch of stuff that I haven't used. And so I don't remember where I got them from. I'm very sorry, but they can be easily recreated with paint sticks or craft sticks uh, just to, you know, the size that you would like them. I'm also using this garland from Hobby Lobby. I just took uh, the pit berries apart and uh, then I'm going to, you know, use them here in these projects, just sticking them in and hot gluing them, uh, you know, on my truck, just attaching it to my fence so that it gives me the look that I want. bow I just cut off some ribbons you know five or six inches um, and then I begin layering them um, I like to use a um, more firm one on the bottom and uh, after I made this bow I'm like I really it kind of was covering up the trucks but I just went with it uh, but anyway the ribbons are you know five or six inches and I just cut them off and then just layer them and then I'm going to gather um, all of them together with a Chanel stem uh, and attach it to my pick a fence. Um, 
some craft tiles. Uh, they're kind of like Scrabble tiles. I got these uh, from Walmart and uh, I just spelled out America. I had taken my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just doodled around the edges of them so that, you know, I could, because that's what I like to do for my projects. I like to add little doodles to it. Then um, for the truck, I'm just using my Posca pen and just writing Sweet Land of Liberty. add a little bit more so I have my uh, 3m Posca pen it's just the uh, size larger and I am just making some little polka dots on the truck and make it look really cute 